Saka here folks and this is Isaac hello. say hello Isaac hello. say hi hi uh, in the last video that I put together for you guys uh, I talked about how to put together your mouse over uh, macros and now we're gonna uh, kind of go over how to use those in conjunction with grid uh, so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and go to uh, www.curse.com and uh, choose the World of Warcraft add-ons type in grid and that should pop up, download that, and uh, get it installed to World of Warcraft, and open up World of Warcraft, and the video will take you from there. Once you download Grid from the Curse website and install it to your World of Warcraft add-ons folder, load World of Warcraft. You should see a small square tile with your character's name in the middle of the tile. You should also notice an icon for Grid attached to your minimap. Left clicking on this icon will bring up Grid's configuration menu. From here, Grid's defaults can be adjusted to suit your preferences. The following is a demonstration of how I've set up Grid to heal with my Discipline Priest. For starters, the frame option lets you select Center Icon. Here, you will be able to determine what types of alerts you'd like displayed on each character's respective tile. It would be wise to choose one or two debuff icons to be displayed according to the spells your particular class has for removing debuffs. I've found that choosing too many icons to display, especially those you cannot remove, interferes with the interpretation of the information Grid is giving you. In short, there's very little cause for knowing about a debuff a particular player has if you can't do anything about it. I've chosen only magic debuffs to be displayed, so I immediately know if there is a magical debuff I can remove with my dispel magic. Next, in the same drop-down, let's select top left corner choose one alert to be displayed. I've chosen aggro alert. Thus when any character in my party acquires aggro from any mob, a small red square is displayed in the upper left hand corner of their tile. Now, set the alert of your upper right corner. I've chosen the weakened soul debuff to be displayed so I know precisely when I can refresh power word shield on any target. I've set up my bottom left corner to display a hot, renew which affords me a quick knowledge of the status of my party and if I've applied that hot to them. In the bottom right corner, I can quickly tell whether or not my power word shield is up on any given party member. After you've set those displays, move on to the status dropdown and expand the health option. Select health deficit. I personally use the slider here to disable this in display. It interferes with the text of the tiles and makes it impossible to spot a certain player in response to, say, a deadly boss mod warning. Incidentally, this would be an excellent time to increase the size of each tile's font for easier viewing. This is done back in the frame drop-down by selecting Advanced. Simply move the font slider back and forth until you find a suitable size for the text of each tile. Here as well, I would adjust the corner size display for easier viewing. By default, Grid displays health by filling a tile with a character's class color when the character is at full health, and by draining the color fill as the player loses health. This is why I find the health deficit display unnecessary. With the Grid tiles properly configured, you can now see all the information you need to identify players, spells, and debuffs prominently displayed on the Grid's tiles. Now, let's see how effective grid works in conjunction with mouse over macros we set up in our previous session. As we discussed, mouse over macros can be used by mousing over a character's portrait or by mousing over any applicable UI, such as grid tiles. This will be the way you will now employ your mouse over macros, by keeping your cursor near the grid interface and simply clicking over the desired target and clicking the appropriate mouse button or key associated with the spell or heal you want to cast. It functions very much like Voodoo or Healbot, but as stated is lighter weight and tends to be more responsive. 
Here's a demonstration of my use of grid in conjunction with mouse over macros in a 10-man ring. Here, I immediately cast Prayer of Mending, Power Word Shield, and Renew on the tanks and proceed by placing and keeping Power Word Shield and Renew up on all party members, all while casting larger heals and spells, and contending with the movement required for this pull. how clean and compact it appears on the UI even compared to say Voodoo or Healbot, while still functioning to provide you the same tailored information and ease of use as these pre-packaged add-ons. I'm healing Holy Spec on this broken pole in ICC 25. We've tripped a Guardian while making one of the big center pulls. With my grid mouse server utility, I'm able to spring into action and save a possible wipe. These couple of videos I did on dealing with mouse over macros and using grid with mouse over macros uh, may seem kind of complicated at first, uh, but just take it step by step. I mean, they're both videos, I think, together are a total of 15 minutes. Play them, pause them, do what you need to in game, come back, unpause, watch the next step. Just take it step by step, and uh, you'll get the hang of it. You'll find out what works, what doesn't work, uh, what tweaks you like in grid, what you don't like. Etc. Etc. And obviously, you know, you can reply to the the form here and, and post potential issues and problems you might have. Uh, or for those of you in, in Zen, you can see me in game as well. Uh, but I've just found that this has really cleaned stuff up for me. You know, if you saw Heel's video, he alluded to the fact that you know my UI is all over the place, and it was. And I really needed to figure out how to clean it up. So through a lot of trial and error experimentation, this is what I found to be the most efficient tool for me uh, for healing. So I hope it's helpful to you. Um, give it a shot. Play with it. Um, don't get frustrated with it. If it's something that doesn't work for you, hey, it's all right. Find, you know, maybe Voodoo or uh, Healbot is, is a better option for you. I just found this to be something that uh, works great for me. And if you think it might work for you, give it a shot. And I wish you luck with it, and thanks for watching another episode of Art of Warcraft.